Log in to Digital Seva Portal using login ID and password. Enter PAN application details like application type, category, name as per Aadhaar, date of birth, mobile number, email ID, and type of PAN, that is whether e-PAN or physical PAN card. On submission, user will be navigated to PAN service portal. Enter applicant's Aadhaar details carefully and demographic authentication will be performed with the details by clicking on submit button. Please remember these important checklist while entering name. Applicant's name, gender and date of birth should exactly match with Aadhaar. Initials are permitted only in middle name if appearing on Aadhaar. Let's understand this with example. Please note that combination marked in correct signs are allowed to be entered on PAN form. That too, if appears in Aadhaar in same sequence. This facility is not applicable to minor and non-individuals like HUF, firm, etc. On successful authentication, user will be navigated to applicant details. User can view and verify application details entered on earlier pages. User can edit fields like name that you would like printed on PAN card or field of other name. User will be navigated to parent details. User should enter applicant's father name. For individual applicant, father's name is mandatory while mother's name is optional. If User selects mother name to be printed on card, then mother name is mandatory to be entered. However, in case of mother being single parent, user can select single mother flag and enter mother name. Initials and father name and mother name are permitted only in middle name field. User will be navigated to other details. Select an option between physical PAN or only ePAN. If user selects only ePAN, then only soft copy of PAN will be sent to applicant's email ID. Select source of income, as the case may be. If source of income is salary or business profession, then office address is mandatory. Enter telephone and email ID carefully for updates of application. User will be navigated to assessing officer code, that is AO code. User will select state and city as per residential address available on Aadhaar. Based on the above selection, a list will be shown. Select area code, AO type, range code, AO number as per location. Enter place and date. User will be navigated to the confirmation page. User will check and reconfirm all the details entered in application. User will be navigated to eKYC authentication portal. Two options are available for eKYC authentication. OTP based eKYC and biometric based eKYC. If user selects OTP based eKYC, then OTP will be sent on applicant's mobile and email ID registered in Aadhaar. User will have to get OTP captured through applicant for performing eKYC. On submission of valid OTP, user will get below screen of successful eKYC authentication. If user selects biometric based eKYC, then user have to capture biometric of applicant through registered biometric device to perform eKYC. The biometric device, that is Morpho, Mantra or Precision needs to be registered through RD service app of respective company by downloading from Google Play Store. In this case, user can select the device, capture the fingerprints and click on submit button. After successful fingerprint capture, user will get the below screen. After eKYC authentication, user will be navigated to e-sign screen. Enter 10-digit Aadhaar number, 
and ask applicant to provide consent for e-signing PAN application. OTP will be sent to applicant's mobile number and email ID registered with Aadhaar. On successful OTP verification, user will get the below page. When user will click on OK, the page with TXN ID, TXN status, pay amount and acknowledge number generated will be displayed. PAN applicant will receive PDF and payment received on email ID registered in application in below format. User can check status of transaction through transaction status page. Enter request type, transaction ID and entity ID to check status. User can also check status based on application number through PAN application status page. Enter PAN application number to check the status. User can also check status on www.tin 